Hey guys, I'm Skokes at Chicago Blackhawks Central. I'm just going to go through uh, some Blackhawks prospects that are going to be playing with the Rockford Ice Hogs, the uh, AHL affiliate to the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah, and the first guy that comes to mind, we could start with the offense, right? Uh, in Jalen Lipen. Uh, so he was signed last year uh, t- to the professional deal and he joined Rockford towards the end of the season. I think he only played one or two games um, with the ice hogs at the end there because they did make the playoffs. Uh, He might've been in one game, but uh, didn't, didn't really do much um, because he just came up from the uh, WHL from the tri city Americans. Um, so just starting off with his uh, stats, right, or his build. Um, so he's five foot ten, one hundred and fifty four pounds. Uh, he's obviously going to round out his um, uh, build uh, with the professional training staff. You know the uh, strength and conditioning coaches. Um, that's really going to help out. Uh, he's twenty one years old already, drafted in twenty twenty one as a seventh round pick. And I I remember when they made that pick, and you know you know. Like, I just flip on some highlights of him the year before, and uh, he had, what what was it, like 29 points in 23 games. So, uh, very productive player um, in the WHL. And in that 2021-2022 season, he had 64 points in 66 games, uh, 29 goals, 35 assists. So, that's that's a top-end player. for his team, um, the Edmonton Oil Kings in um, the 21 season. And then he was traded to the Tri-City Americans in 2022-2023, uh, so last year. Uh, and I believe he was coming off an injury, so he joined in later on. But he was super productive um, in his 38 games played. Uh, 39 points, eight, 18 goals, 21 assists. Uh, that's great stuff. Um, you know, just at, at, as a seventh round pick and picked by our previous GM, right? Uh, he might have just got lucky with that pick, right? Um, this is obviously a player that can play throughout the lineup, and he has some speed, he has some good size, and he's obviously going to develop that uh, in the future here. And he could probably play on the top six there in in. Rockford because he does have the uh, goal scoring touch. Uh, the next player, Ryder Rolston, uh, he could play wing. He is six foot two, uh, one ninety, and he's twenty one years old. So he does have a pretty good um, professional build already. Uh, whether he just shapes up more, more muscle, right? Uh, because he's not a he doesn't jump off the. Uh, the uh, page with his stats, right? Um, so 2022-2023, seven goals, uh, 13 assists, 20 points in 27 games. So he he did miss a few games, um, but that was that that's still pretty decent um, numbers there. Seven goals, 13 assists, 20 points in 27 games. It's 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 decent for the uh, University of Notre Dame there. Uh, you know, so that's playing college hockey and that's not bad com- coming off an injury, right? Because he, he did miss some games there, but that's, uh, it's a decent game that he's rounding up there. He has great speed, a great shot, but just not a super skilled player. Um, whether you want to play him on like your top six, right? Like he's not a crazy playmaker, but he, he knows where to score goals. He gets to the paint. He's a smart player in the ozone, right? And, and that's what you want for like a bottom six player that uh, just grinds out those tough goals that um, not everyone does. Right. So he'll be interesting uh, to watch and rock for this season. Uh, Colton doc, I believe he's going to make the jump also to Rockford and you know what he can, uh, he can be a top six center there in Rockford. Um, 
I'm not sure who's going to be the line one center, but it is interesting to, to have him there, right? Because he's 6'4", he's 196 pounds, uh, 20 years old. Uh, yeah, so he'll still be 20 years old when he's in Rockford, but that's a player that I think people are really noticing now, um, especially when he was traded to the Seattle Thunderbirds. So he was with the Kelowna Rockets uh, to start the WHO season in 2022-2023. Uh, nine goals, eight assists, 17 points in 14 games because he did have an injury. Um, even going back to like the uh, World Juniors, um, he had that shoulder injury. Um, it was fairly early on in the tournament, so, so that did mess him up a bit, but uh, – he came back to the Thunderbirds. Uh, he was traded there and uh, really contributed well, especially in the playoffs. In, in 19 games, um, three goals, 11 assists, 14 points in 19 games. So he did have a bottom six role there with the Thunderbirds, but he can project as a top six uh, player with, with Rockford because of his size and skill, right? Um, so that's also going to be a um, a more power forward type of player uh, that we'll see in Rockford. So he, I think he'll fit in very uh, very well there uh, with their lineup. And going to the defense, um, Ethan Del Mastro, I believe he's making his uh, pro jump here this year. Uh, so he's twenty years old, six foot four, uh, two hundred five, and he plays a a mature game, right? For his age, even going back to like one or two years ago, um, when when you see his film, especially in the uh, D zone, he is very careful with the puck. He gets it up the boards, gets it out of the zone when you need to, and that's what you want from a response, like a responsible defenseman, right? Uh, he's a left-handed defenseman, uh, yeah. So he's a left-handed defenseman, six foot four. Um, he, he has the pro build already, and that's great to see. Uh, so he started out with the Mississauga Steelheads. Uh, he was the captain there, so that's great to see uh, for his leadership, right? For two seasons, he, he, he was captain there. Uh, 22 games with the Steelheads, uh, two goals, nine, 19 assists, tw- 21 points in 22 games. Uh, that's, that's fantastic for a more defensive stay-at-home defenseman uh to get almost a point per game there that's that's unbelievable and he was uh later traded to the sarnia sting uh mainly for their playoffs um for their second half push right uh for for the playoffs um 30 games five goals 33 assists 38 points 38 points in 30 games uh that's that is awesome to see and he's more He's one of the more underrated prospects that we have right now uh, because he was drafted one or two years ago, right? And he's just kind of passed over because, um, you know, like Korchinski's here now, uh, White Kaiser's here, Nolan Allen. Uh, So not a lot of people are talking about uh, Ethan Domestro, but he's going to really surprise some people with his play. Uh, He's going to translate very well to, to the AHL um he has a size speed and he's worked on his offensive game um even in uh the world juniors he played a a whole lot of minutes with that Canada team with Bedard right uh 16 games uh with the playoffs um with the Sarnia Sting 16 games 10 points uh 10 assists so that's good to see uh being active on the offensive end uh, and then with the World Juniors in seven games, he had three assists, uh, three total points. Um, but one assist was to Bedard. I believe he was he was flying down the left boards towards the left circle, almost to the goal line. Threw it across, uh, cross ice right right to the net. Bedard knocks it in right, right in front, and that's that's great to see that they have that connection there also. Um, Ethan Delmastro, he's going to be a really good player for Rockford this year. Um, 
when he comes up. And Nolan Allen, also a defenseman, young guy. Uh, he's 20 years old, six foot two, uh, 194 pounds, uh, shoots left. So we do have a lot of left defensemen, but uh, that's just what our prospect pool is um, made up of right now. Uh, just a lot of lefties, uh, not a lot of righties right now, but. Uh, Nolan Allen, I, I've noticed him playing the right side also. So he got comfortable with playing both sides, and that's and that's great to have, you know. Um, just to have a vers- versatile player on the back end size. Um, he doesn't have great speed, but he's a very, a very heady player, um, knows where to pass the puck, doesn't make any crazy plays like his guy Korch, right? But Korch ha- ha- has that size and speed and skill, so he can make those uh, crazy plays. But Nolan Allen is a bit more responsible with the puck. Um, so he started with the Prince Albert Raiders as their captain also. That's awesome to see uh, that we have a lot of leadership, right, at a young age. Um, so with the Raiders, he had four goals, seven assists, and 11 games – or. 11 points in, in 16 games, and then he was traded to the Thunderbirds. Um, so with Korch and um, uh, so with Korch, Korchinski and Colton Dock, right? Uh, so three Blackhawks prospects, and then with the T Birds, he had seven goals, nine assists, 16 points in 41 games, and then in the playoffs, there, uh, he really he was a big contributor, um, on the back end for the uh, Thunderbirds playoff push uh push right and they obviously uh won the uh championship there and um our our guys were a big part of that uh two goals eight assists 10 points in 19 games there for nolan allen and in the world juniors he didn't get a lot of big opportunities uh but he did have some minutes and some ice time i two two points in seven games, but he's more of that defensive guy um, in his D zone, just, just taking care of the puck and clearing out bodies in front of the net. I mean, that's his game. And as a first round pick, if, if he could be great at that, um, then that would be great to have in the system. Right. And mo- moving up to the uh, Rockford Ice Hogs and then eventually the Hawks, that would be great to have a player like that. And the final player um, that we'll see with the Rockford Ice Hogs is Drew Camesso, a goalie. So we've been – so Hawks fans have been talking about him for a few years now, right, uh, since he was drafted in 2020. Uh, so he was also a second-round pick, just like our goalie pick this year with Adam, Adam Guyon, right? So he is a few years in, in the system now. He's been playing at a, a BU, Boston University. Uh, he's six foot two, 20 years old only still, and he's uh, 181 pounds. So he does have a decent build, um, left-handed, right? But but he he's he's not he doesn't have crazy height like you see with Jake Godinger, uh, Connor Hellebuck these days, right? Uh, like six six foot five, six six. But uh, he's six two, and he's he's a really good positional goalie. He's not gonna flail. Around the net, like Alex Stalock, right? He's a very positional player. Um, he tracks pucks well. Uh, he's not super acrobatic, right? But he's going to make the stops that you need him to make. And um, so the 2021 2022 season would be you. Uh, he had a 91 uh, save percentage, uh, two point. 52 uh, goes allowed right uh, in 28 games. So that's uh, th- th- those are decent stats and 13 wins, 11 losses, and three in um, uh, OT, right? But he's been a solid, solid player, and he improved on uh, the next season. Uh, last year in 2022 season, 34 games played. Uh, he struggled to uh, start out the season, but um, it's it's great to see that he rebounded and and he really carried that BU team uh, through through their um, tournament uh, to go re- really far um, 
with not much in front of him, right, at, at BU. And he was an assistant at BU. Um, it's crazy to see your goalie have that leadership patch, right? But uh, obviously the, the team voted him, chose him to, to be one of their uh, assistant captains, and he's one of the leaders, so that's great to see. Uh, at BU um, in 34 games, 2.46 goals allowed and 91% save percentage. Um, so he improved um, with the goals allowed. Uh, the save percentage is li- – it's the same. Uh, 913, 914, same thing, right? Um, it's great stuff to see with Drew Camesso, and he'll be with the Rockford Ice Hogs probably – Probably in tandem with um, Jackson Stauber, uh, Mitchell Weeks, if he gets brought up uh, at some point if they need him. But it's going to be a nice tandem there in Rockford with um, Stauber and Drew Camesso. And that's um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six uh, Hawks prospects that we will most likely see with the Rockford Ice Hawks. So they're going to be a younger team, faster team. Uh, that's great to see because uh, they've been a little slower on in re- recent years, you know, with just a lot of veterans. So that's good to see them have that. Yep. Subscribe, Chicago Blackhawks Central. Uh, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next time.